Hey guys, how's it going? It's 8-Bit Eric. Welcome back to the channel, baby. And if this is your first time, welcome. And uh, yeah, you know what? We're going to check a game called Immortal Planet today on the Nintendo Switch. This is going to be my first impressions. I literally am just starting this game for the first time. So if you want to take this magic carpet ride with me, this journey of fun, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you have not yet. And I will definitely appreciate it. And click that like as well as all the annoying YouTubers say. So this is Immortal Planet. Looks kind of cool. I think it's a roguelike game. I think it is. I know I have roguelike spider senses inside of me. So let's see what we're doing right here. What am I? I'm this big like weird looking dude. And I, I can tell you right off the bat. I'm digging the graphics of this game a lot. All right, so I defeated that enemy. A violent awake walker. I like that. Awake. Awake walker. Is it like Skywalker? No, it's an awake walker. Activate. All right. Not bad. Not bad. All right. Definitely getting a good little vibe. Hold B to run. Okay. I cleared my first room. Here we go. X is to block. All right. Oh, shoot. Maybe next time I should, uh, not suck. <laughs> oh, did I get rid of him? Wow. All right. Did you get him? Nope. I just don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to be alive, like logic says. All right. So what was that? Auto injector containing immortal blood that can heal the body. Um, did I use it? Okay, there it is. I see it now. So we're going to use R. There we go. I have no more of those. And let's open this. Ceremonial pistol. Ooh, I got a gun now. There we go. Nice. I'm Texan, so I like I like guns. All right, and uh, oh shoot, he has a gun too. Guns for everybody, yo! All right, now Gunwalker. He has a makeshift rifle. Uses it with deadly accuracy. All right, so we can dash across gaps. We're gonna open this. What's this do? Oh, ooh. That looks fancy. Immortal blood. Okay, so health. That tells me I'm going to be running into a big enemy or something. Like right before you enter a room. If you get health, hold to wake weapon. Okay. All right. Let's, uh, let's block this dude. And let's awake the weapon. I don't know what awaken the weapon does. Didn't seem like it did anything but get me hurt. Let's hold block. Okay, so you can dash into them and stun them. Okay. <laughs> I just shot this dude. I was like, yeah, I I'm gonna... Whoa, I just died. Whoa, that is pretty tricky dicky. Okay, so I started over at the beginning. What's resting do? I'm sure that's like a dumb question. Uh, random dead dude in the water. Okay, so <laughs> looks like from the from the look of things, start completely square at the beginning. Um, I don't even know if you're gaining experience or anything in this game, or if it's just like null and void like you just kind of oh, wait I, it does seem like I'm gaining experience because I just saw underneath me uh, on my screen you can see uh, my my camera where it's at I just saw some like I guess experience or something go up uh, I'm not entirely sure but uh, I mean I'm kind of I'm definitely kind of kind of sort of digging this game a little bit Ooh, 
I just got destroyed again. <laughs> Games like these are usually uh, where you kind of rip your hair out and you're like, oh my gosh. Like one of the early ones I remember playing on the Switch that was like a roguelike was Has Been Heroes. And that game initially I was like, yeah, this looks like a lot of fun. But then shortly after I was like, wow, this game is like extremely hard. I have no idea what the heck is going on. And um, right now initially my impressions, I absolutely love the graphics i love the way the game looks um you know the way it sounds just the way it plays it's very challenging though um but i guess that's that's the uh, the gimmick behind it is that it's a big like labyrinth dungeon type of place that that has you uh taking on these characters and trying to survive as long as possible and there's a strategy behind the blocking and and the attacks and stuff I don't want to say it's almost like Dark Souls with the way the combat is, but it kind of is, you know, based with like the stamina meter and having to block and kind of like not screw up and, and suck, <laughs> you know, in a, in a way. It's kind of like it. It's similar, I would say. I wouldn't say it's like it. I would say it's similar, if that makes sense, because I know a lot of people get really sensitive and bent out of shape. When you say something like Dark Souls just because it's hard. I'm not saying it's like Dark Souls because it's hard. I'm saying it's similar to Dark Souls in the way that the, the combat mechanics uh, are playing out thus far in my experience with this uh, finely tuned Nintendo Switch game. And it uh, looks like I'm very close to dying again. Block. Ninja kick the damn rabbit. I haven't said one of those in a while, haven't I? All right, there we go. Um, I pretty much killed that guy for funsies, I guess. I wish there was a way to tell if uh, you can gain experience or if some of the levels and stuff. It looks like I'm out of bullets for my uh, for my gun. All right, so I got my, I guess I got the movements down a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, blocking still kind of allows you to get hurt, though. So, uh, kind of got to be a little, little careful with that. There we go. Let's heal my character up. Let's, uh, ooh, he had a gun. There we go. Let's, uh, let's time it properly there we go yeah that guy was a killer wasn't he all right so looks like we're getting another healing item luckily that one didn't go away let's go ahead and use it because uh i i ain't getting screwed around this time all right so here we go we are going hold y to what does waking your weapon do Okay, we got him. Awaken. Awake! The stamina is uh, what takes some time getting used to, if I'm being honest. That guy, I think I shouldn't I shouldn't try to screw around with, because he, uh, he defeated me pretty good this last time. There we go. I think uh, I think I might have a chance. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, God. He got me again. Oh gosh. I gotta say, uh, I have no idea how long this game is, or how even far much farther you can get on it and stuff. But I can tell you very, very much so right now that this is definitely a game that is uh, gonna be. Shaped it up to be one of the hardest indie games so far on the Nintendo Switch. Since like once a year we get one of these roguelikes that's just really intense and uh, amazing. I mean, there was countless of them, like Salt and Sanctuary, for example, and Has Been Heroes, you know, Bind and Isaac, several games like that. So this looks like it's going to be one that falls into that same category as well. 
and uh, I don't want to just keep dying over and over and over for you guys on this video. <laughs> Uh, actually, this is actually a lot of fun. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, please leave a like. Comment down below your thoughts on this game. And if you are brand new and you haven't subscribed yet, what's wrong with you, bro? Subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great day. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description. You want to become part of the hashtag 8BE Nation, guys? Well, be sure to pick up your official merch now available online. Link is below in the description. We got classic t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, and even women's apparel. Don't forget, pick up your official merch now. And while you're at it, guys, feel free to watch the next video or why don't you catch up on one that you might have previously missed. Thanks again, guys, for all the support. I couldn't do this without you. You guys are amazing. And don't forget to subscribe and click that like button if you are brand new. Thanks again, guys. Peace out.